to be here. First take coming to you from Los Angeles. He's Stephen A. Smith. He's Max Kellerman. I'm Molly Karam. And we got a huge show today, guys, in case you didn't know. Well, before we get to the huge show, okay. let me let me just say this. I don't know whether to check on the health and the well-being of Max Kellerman to see if he is okay or to sit up there and compliment him and step out. Did you see that tie? Ah. Max oh. Kellerman oh, actually much, yes. wearing a tie that steps out? It looks nice. Little what? bit. What? Little bit. What? He Every looks now very and then. handsome. Well, thank you very much. You I'm not knocking it. I am very impressed. My friend. I'm Dad, very impressed. Thank you very much. Fashion police right here. Saying, well, we know what right. time it is here. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? You What's going on? Nice too, <laughs> Thanks nice. so much. All right, Thanks not so all much. about you guys today, though. We've got Magic Johnson. We have Cedric the Entertainer. We have Doc Rivers. It is a full show. So much to get into. And, uh, guys, we have a doubleheader today as well. Yes. We're on again tonight at 7 to 8 Eastern on ESPN, a primetime special. It'll be fireworks. Make sure yes. you don't miss that. Should I keep the tie for the, yeah. tonight? Yeah. Show? You can. You can. Are you, you changing can. for the next No. I have to look at how I look. Well, I need to change for. <laughs> okay. Please. I ain't changed. I, I, guess we're not, I guess we're not changing. I'm rolling out like this Glad I got day. the memo. Okay. Let's talk about right. last night here on ESPN. We'll get to the Lakers in just a minute. It was not not the stars, the new look Rockets hope for a lopsided loss to the Pelicans, 131 to 112. Anthony Davis dominated, 32 points, 16 rebounds, eight assists. Meanwhile, Carmelo did come off the bench for the very first time in his career. He scored nine points and he calls the reserve role challenging mentally. Stephen A. Smith, how concerning of a loss was this for these Rockets? It's just game one of the NBA regular season. There's 81 games to go. Yet I'm very concerned. That was some of the most abysmal, awful defense I have seen in the NBA in quite some time. That was just awful. The Houston Rockets didn't look like they could stop anybody. And I heard Mike D'Antoni talking during the game, first game of the season, you know, legs are not there, except I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. And the reason why is because there were so many open shots that the New Orleans Pelicans were taking. You just sat up there and literally you could have put an APB out for Houston's defense. Asked where the hell were you? Now, obviously, I'm not going to sit up there and blame Carmelo Anthony per se, but I will say that his arrival combined with the exit of Trevor Ariza along with Luke Mba Amute has really changed the complexion of the Houston Rockets. And I watched them last night, and that was just – some awful, awful defensive basketball here. And if you don't play defense, if you can't, that first of all, they can't play defense much worse. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely going to get better defensively. But if you don't figure out a way to somehow, some way, resemble somewhat the defense that you had last year in Houston, oh, my prediction is even stronger about the Lakers going to the Western Conference Finals. It's even stronger because Houston won't be standing in their way because they won't even be relevant. I mean, how concerning was the loss? You really don't know about this stuff till 20-something games into the season. And then more or less you understand what the playoff rankings are going to be and everything. Not one game. That said, they couldn't stop. Uh, they whoever, look worse. Whoever Capella wasn't on gave him the business. I mean, this is a bad defensive team. Right. Now, we knew that going into the season. This was my issue with the Rockets. This is not, I'm not surprised by this. Mm -hmm. They will not be a bad team. They will be a good team. In fact, the Rockets will be a very good team. Because though their defense got better, really the thing about the Rockets is their offense. And Carmelo should help there, I think, in the second unit. Because he could be the focal point more in the second unit. Carmelo is past his prime. I said there was going to be a lot of pressure on him this year, Stephen A. He's past his prime. He's been past his prime for several years. And that's coincided with a shift in the way the game is played. Like his iso ball skills don't play as well in this league as they did in the league seven or eight years ago. So not only is he declining, but the whole landscape underneath his feet is shifting. The ground is shifting, making him even less effective. But they lost two real defenders. And we saw that last night. I got to tell you something. I'm watching the Pelicans last night, and I made a mistake. Okay. I know they were going to the playoffs. But I question their formidability because I'm like, is Anthony Davis and who? This kid, Etwan Moore, you watched him in the 21 points he dropped. You watch, you watch, I mean, get, get penetrate into the teeth of the defense, dropping teardrops in the lane and what have you, doing what he wanted. Now, again, this is against Houston's defense now, which was awful. But 
I'm thinking the absence of Rondo hurt them and hurt them to a degree because Anthony Davis is there and who's going to be that facilitator. But the combination of Moore along with Peyton. Look, Drew Holiday only had 10 points last night. Julius Randle. Julius Randle. Julius well, 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 Randle. I bring up Julius Randle and his 25 points for this reason. Magic Johnson, I need an explanation. I need an explanation as to why that man's going from the Los Angeles Lakers. I understand. I, I, just, I understand I, why. I, I, well, well I, I, I'd prefer to hear it from Magic Well, how Johnson. many forwards do you How many <laughs> forwards <laughs> you got? Oh, you, you ain't getting rid of LeBron. I know. You ain't getting rid of Ingram. I, I, and Kuzma I, 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 had a great I, I, rookie year. I, I know, but Randall, man, when you got a workhorse like that coming off the bench, that's invaluable. That's inv- I'm talking about off the bench. That's invaluable. Uh, and so I'm just saying, listen, it's 12 spots on the roster because you got rid of somebody else. I'm just going to ask them. But I'm just telling you right now, New Orleans, ooh. I mean, the size that they have in their backcourt with Anthony Davis being that monster, mm-hmm. Drew Holiday being a defender who could drop 25 or 30 on you on any given night, and Alvin Gentry can coach. He can coach. So let's not forget that either. Julius Randle was big. I understand. I, I think Julius Randle's actually a dangerous player for a team mm-hmm. because when he's going well, you can get fooled into believing he's better than he is. But that doesn't mean he can't play and give you valuable minutes. Right. And those Wildcats there, man, <laughs> I'll tell you what, in, in New Orleans, that's, he, he's a good addition, actually, as it turns out. He looked we, early on. By, one way, by the way, we didn't even bring up Marodic. Mm-hmm. Right. Dropped, to drop 30, hit six to eight, three, Listen, four. This is a guy that showed up in the postseason. When Boogie got too. hurt and they right. made that deal, in right. fact, even though Boogie and AD were figuring it out, the amount of money had Boogie never gotten hurt, yes. that you'd have to invest to keep that together versus Mir- Mirodic, uh, Mirodic, who, Mirodic. Who, who, yes. Mirodic, who's, who's just kind of a perfect fit with AD. Yes. Anthony Davis, as I said to start the year, is going to be the MVP, is off to the exact kind of start that I expected. 30-plus points, mid-double-digit rebounds. His team beat a good team. Before we move on, really quick, I just got to ask you, because Houston almost beat the Warriors if CP3 didn't get hurt. I know it's just one game. How much worse do they look? They look considerably worse Mm. defensively. They look like they can't stop anybody. And and listen, when you... If, if your formula is to simply outscore everybody, Mm -hmm. that's not going to work. This is not... This is not Steve Nash with Joe Johnson and Amari Stoudemire, and Sean Marion and those boys from D'Antoni's Phoenix days more than a decade ago. This is not that kind of team. This is Harden and CP3, and we know how big time they are, with a mellow that's got something to prove because everybody's talking about how he's diminished, and he's 33 years of age. So we've got that issue going on. And then you got P.J. Tucker, and there's a question mark. Clint Capella is going to give you what he gives you. But you're looking at Houston now, questionable depth. Mm-hmm. And now, no defense with a coach that was known for not caring about defense until last season. Bottom line the is, problem. they got blown out at home Yeah. Uh, and couldn't defend. All right, there it is. Guys, tonight is the beginning of a new era. LeBron James and the Lakers wearing that purple and gold. His first-